the matrix I perceive as real. The matrix I perceive as real. It is real and it is real. It's real. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new watching, welcome as well. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about this specific full moon in Halloween. And note that every full moon and new moon starts activating within like two weeks ahead and after two weeks. So there's a little bit of overlapping period, but you're going to feel it more intensely as you get closer to this date, October 31st. Basically, moon in Taurus is super strong. It's exalted, meaning that we feel a lot more secure and emotionally grounded as a rule of thumb, but there's an exception. And this specific full moon is exceptional because it's right next to Uranus, the planet of unpredictability, surprise. So on a collective level, we are going to experience our comfort zone is being challenged. This can create a sense of anxiety and ungroundedness, even though the Taurus itself is very one of the most grounding signs. So you can leverage on this full moon by being voluntarily open to experimentation and being open to try new things. When moon is with Uranus, we can start craving for authenticity, authentic relationship, authentic feelings want to be expressed outwardly. Well, it, of course, it depends on your own birth chart. Everyone has different birth chart. If you are Leo rising, for example, it's going to affect your career, public image, because Taurus is in your 10th house. So you can experience sudden rise in that area. So if you're kind of familiar with the house systems, you can look into your own birth chart and see in which area of your life you can expect sudden changes. Yeah, actually, I can briefly mention that if your air is rising, it happens in the second house. So you can experience sudden changes in your personal finance and your self-worth, self-esteem, and your family life. If you're Taurus rising, whoo, this is going to be a really big deal. You can um, kind of feel like your entire life is being kind of being shaken. This will help you live your truth on the long run, especially within the six month. You can make some kind of radical decision in regards to your physical appearance or your self-image. If you're Gemini rising, the full moon happens in your 12th house. So you can experience significant shifts in your subconsciousness and, and your personal private life. And this could be a really genius creative ideas, especially if you are involved in creative industry or spiritual fields. You can benefit a lot from this position, from this position. And if you're uh, cancer rising, it occurs in your 11th house. So you can expect sudden rise or changes in the area of your friendship or socioeconomic uh, profits, your income and your own community, social circles and your long term goals. If you're Leo rising, I already mentioned about it. If you're Virgo rising, uh, it happens in the in the ninth house so your attitude towards life in general your philosophical perspective doesn't have to be like super spiritual or philosophical but the way you perceive the world in general your uh your belief system is going to be shifted radically in some way shape or form if you're Libra rising, it happens in your 8th house, meaning that you can experience certain changes in your subconsciousness or intimate life and uh, some sort of 
fears can be triggered and you can use it, you can transform it into a totally different thing. Because the eighth house is the house of alchemy, transformation, sudden changes. Oh, you can also expect uh, sudden changes in uh, mutual funds, mutual resources. So if you're Scorpio rising, your relationship can change all of a sudden or your partner can go through a lot of um, kind of like surprising events. And this is a really great time for you to change the way you deal with other people, especially your partner. Or if you're married, um, the relationship dynamic can be changed in a way that you can relate more authentically. So more authentic relationship can be available by you taking a different route or through mutual consensus. If you're Sagittarius rising, it happens in your sixth house. So you can, you can choose your habits, your diet, your work routines all of a sudden. So pay more attention to what you eat. If you have employees, having more heart-to-heart connection to deal and manage your employees are going to help you increase productivity and improve this relationship. Sixth house also represents challenges of any sort. So you can suddenly find out some sort of breakthroughs and this is going to liberate you emotionally a lot. Yeah, if you're Capricorn rising, it happens in the fifth house. So if you have kid, your kids and creativity, creative projects, uh, self-expression, creative expression, arts or independent business projects are going to experience a lot of sudden changes and ultimately this is going to help you feel more authentic this is going to help you feel like you are living your truth if you're aquarius rising it happens in your fourth house so your family life your home life real estate property your vehicles can be prone to sudden changes and this could be about your emotional backbone your emotional foundation can be changing So for example, if you stick to a certain tradition of doing things, all of a sudden you would feel like you are outgrown and now you are basing your emotional security on something else. So if you're Pisces rising, it happens in your third house. So your social networks, uh, neighbors, friends, colleagues, and your learning abilities, schooling, learning new skills, These are the things that can be changed. Or your thinking process can change the way you think. Also, you can find out new information that can bring you more sustainable source of income in the long run. So overall, regardless of your rising sign, this full moon is going to bring us a huge opportunity to break free from some kind of emotional blocks and whoever are more willing to embrace changes are going to leverage a lot from this placement so yeah keep in mind that and uh, and the ruler of this full moon venus is in libra which is a really great position as well so Particularly if you're involved in arts, beauty, uh, fashion, or any kind of like Venusian industries. If you're involved in law, consultation, trading, business transaction, advising, etc. This is a really great period of time. Also, at the time of full moon, Mercury is in retrograde, squaring Saturn. So what does that mean? We can experience some kind of mental rigidity. It may take a longer time to make a decision because uh, we now start thinking more about practical consideration, which is good. Especially um, if you're signing an agreement or dealing with a one-on-one relationship. 
or if you're in a, any kind of social environment, this can reflect that we may need to pay extra attention to details. So it can kind of slow down the entire process of making a decision, but it's going to make much more long-lasting results in the end. Because Saturn in Capricorn is squaring Mercury. Another thing that you might want to keep in mind is, especially if you have a big vision, big goals, you can kind of forget about details. So make sure to fill in the details. This is reflected by Jupiter squaring Mercury. And overall, we can be better off by being more relatable to people. So whenever you make an important decision, whether it is super important or not, try to be relatable to others because Mercury is in Libra and Saturn is in Capricorn. So you can come up with an idea that can be easily, relatively easily accepted by society that complies social norms and be more open to thinking about the flip side of the coin. Lift up the mental rigidity. Okay, so let's wrap up this video with the card. I would love to pull a card that can summarize this energy. I like the flying away card, fire. Okay, the element of fire hurts new life, renewed passion, and positive transformation. Okay, I actually almost forgot about Mars, Mars in retrograde, in Aries. So I'm looking at the chart right now. So let your passion drive to bring a turning point. You know, every full moon creates a demarcation of some sort. It's a turning point. It's an ideal time to change your approach to whatever uh, that is related to your, your Taurus. Since Mars is super strong, you would have a lot of ideas and urge to act upon in order to create some changes. So be adaptable. Stay true to yourself and let your passion drive your life. That's about it. Ooh, interesting. At the bottom of the deck, we, we got the earth, well, Taurus is an earth sign, as the element of earth for grounding, stability, and strength in times of chaos. Ooh, okay, so, all right, so Uranus is a planet of chaos as well. So, obviously, there are going to be a lot of shakeups, both on the personal and macro societal levels, but your action is what can make you feel more grounded. So don't try to stick to the old tradition because now it is time to change up the things. You would probably feel that you like to bring more radical changes into your life where Taurus is in your own per personal birth chart. So uh, your action is going to facilitate this change and and getting out of comfort zone. Actually, it's it's changing your comfort zone. You're changing the boundaries. This will help you feel more true to yourself and liberating. I hope this is helpful and let me know how you think and feel free to share what kind of changes you are going through in your life. Like and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.